allow a man to penetrate their body. You know? I mean, it, it's that simple. Now, if a man unwillingly penetrates a woman, that's rape. And rightfully so. They go to jail, they don't pass go, and they don't collect $200, all right? So if the woman has the power by law to oblige a sexual encounter, well, then why should the damn man be responsible when this stupid bimbo, you know, didn't, you know, prove herself not to be fertile, and she decides to shit out a kid, for Christ's sake. You understand what I'm saying? It makes no sense. All right? I mean, look, I know that there's a lot of people out here that are going to disagree with me. I know there's a lot of individuals that are going to say, I can't believe he's saying that. I'm saying it. All right? Women are utilizing children as income. All right? Baby making has turned into big business. All right? I mean, the more children that you have, the more money you can collect from the government, the more money you can collect from nonprofit organizations, the more money you can collect from child support. And then, you know, you combine all these, uh, you know, incomes together, they can still go out and work. You know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me that, you know, we're supposed to sit here and give so much props to these single mothers out here that are, oh, I'm a single mother, I, I'm great, dude. Shut up. All right? Just shut up. You, you're the people who've trivialized life. You've trivialized making a baby. Making a baby was supposed to be a beautiful thing. It was supposed to be a thing that was a, of nature. It's supposed to be appreciated. You people have turned it into a trivialized bunch of garbage. All right? And let me tell you something. If you happen to be a young man or a young woman, and you have been brought up by your mother, you know what I'm talking about. If you were brought up by a single mother, you know what I'm talking about. Unless your mother was one of these women that decided, hey, man, I, I hopped on something that looked good in a leather jacket. I had this kid. I got to go out and I got to pay for him. You know, I got to go out and I got to work. You know, I'm not going to go out and make excuses. I'm not going to go to the damn welfare line. I'm not going to collect a food card. Those women, hey, more power to you. I mean, those are capitalists, you know, the women that don't make an excuse, that don't say, oh, man, he got me pregnant. He got me, he got me pregnant. He got me pregnant. I mean, give me a freaking break. So, hey, hey, I said it, all right, assholes? I said it, and if you don't like it, shove it up your ass, all right? Shove it up your ass. All right? I mean, all these freaking single mothers out here. You want to, I mean, you will never find a bigger emotional vampire than a single mother, for Christ's sake. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I kid you not. I kid you not. I mean, you see them all the time out here in everyday society. You see them on TV, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And I'm glad that at least in the court shows, you got some of these people that are trying to tell these stupid bimbos that they're skankosauruses and they need to keep their goddamn legs closed. All right? It's pathetic. And I'm not a sexist. You idiots can sit here and call me that all the time. I'm protecting womanhood. That's what I'm doing. I'm protecting womanhood and promoting manhood, just like Judge Joe Brown says. All right? That's what I'm doing. I mean, women should have more respect for themselves. I mean, you know, women, with all due respect, you're literally just giving out the poontang. You know what I mean? You're just giving it out anywhere, and the reason that you're giving it out is because you want to get pregnant so you can get more money. You know what I mean? I mean, why don't you slow down a little bit, women? Why don't you slow down? I mean, you know, I think Dave Chappelle said one time that if uh, pussy was a stock, it would be plummeting right now. You know what I mean? It would be going down the tubes. You know what I mean? It, it would be just completely on the negative because you're just giving it away out here. And all I'm saying is that you women need to just realize that sexual relations can be casual. Just make sure to get yourself goddamn uh, fixed or something. Get neutered, you know? I mean, I, I've always wanted to open up a nonprofit organization for that specific purpose, you know what I mean? I mean, seriously, I've, I've always wanted to open up a nonprofit organization and, you know, pay women, because these women, they're all material anyway. You know, we, we pay them like with a Louis Vuitton purse or Dolce Gabbana glasses, or coat, you know, we, we do something like that, and we get them neutered. You know, we neuter women, and make sure that, hey, I don't care if you want to be a slut bag. You know, you got all these sluts out here, yeah, I'm a slut, slut walk, baby, slut walk. Uh, I don't mind if you do that. I don't care if you hop around from penis to penis to penis, all right? 
I don't care what you do. Just don't get married and don't have children, you stupid, irresponsible scumbag. I mean, how hard is that? How hard is not getting pregnant? How hard is this? I mean, you know, give me a break. Jesus Christ. Anyway, sorry, folks. I didn't mean to get off on that tirade, but uh, this young man's probably suffering from uh, a situation where, you know, he, you know, had some broad that was willing to give him a hand job. And uh, lo and behold, you know, she dropped her drawers and, uh, you know, he penetrated her body. And now she's got a bun in the oven, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? And now he's a little concerned about it because, you know, this guy's like, hey, you know, you're supposed to be liberal. You're supposed to be liberal. I mean, uh, don't you want to get an abortion? And, and of course, you know, they, they never do. You know, they never want to get an abortion because they believe, oh, I can't do it. Jesus and Jesus. And, I mean, give me a break. You know what I mean? I mean, these women and these liberals are the first ones out here saying, oh, we want abortion. We want control of our bodies. We want control of our bodies. And then when it comes down to them getting pregnant and they don't want it, they, they're too scared to get on the goddamn, uh, uh, the, the goddamn uh, line at the abortion clinic to get the damn thing vacuumed out of their body. You know what I mean? I mean, give me a break. Makes me sick. Jesus Christ. Anyway, 646-652-4869 is the number to call. I'm sorry, folks. I didn't mean to get off keister there, but, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm sick, you know. I'm sick of this crap. Anyway, we're already like six minutes into the final hour, the third and final hour of the True Capitalist radio broadcast. And, of course, I am your host, the man they call Ghost. Let me just get through this whole crap here. All right, we were talking about the dis- uh, the dispute in the South China Sea. And, of course, folks, I-, I hate doing this time and time again, but this is a requirement by Blog Talk Radio. If uh, any of the hosts on Blog Talk Radio happen to disagree or be critical to the Chinese government, we have to allow a representative of the communist government of China to come in here and have a rebuttal against anything that is being said on this broadcast. So, I mean, I hate to do this, but Jesus Christ, without any further ado, folks, uh, Mr. Fortune Cookie, are you there, sir? Oh. You see, you motherfucker out there talking garbage of a communist government in China. You dumb motherfucker in America should not be coming in here to South China Sea with the Philippines. No, no, you do not. I can't believe that you motherfucker in America out there coming in here doing military exercise in the South China Sea. The South China Sea is our property, motherfucker. It's our property, not you. I mean, we own you, American motherfucker. We own you, motherfucker. Why are you going to come here try to flex nuts with a Chinese government, a communist government of China? You Americans are going to regret this. All you motherfuckers are going to regret this very badly. I tell you this right now, motherfucker. But to sit here and talk garbage about communist government of China, and then you come here and you're going to come in the South China Sea and go to talk garbage and flex and that's what I'm a motherfucker. We're not going to sit here and take us no more. The communist government of China is going to come in here and we're going to stick a chopstick up your asshole. Motherfucker. No turn up at that, 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 when we come to America and take our property. Because you are our property now, motherfucker. You are our property. We own you, motherfuckers. We own all your debt. We own your country, motherfucker. You don't sit here talk garbage to communist government of China when we own you, people. We own you, people. Stupid motherfucker going to sit here talk garbage to the communist government of China. Some young 
I have nothing else to say. I am Mr. Fortune Cookie. Thank you very much. All right, get the city now, but get them off. Well, you heard it. Uh, you know, the Chinese government isn't too happy that the United States is going to conduct a military exercise with the Philippines. And as you can see, uh, they're not too happy with all this stuff. So, uh, Jesus Christ, I mean, what is America thinking? We're in an economic dwindling point in our economy. Or we're politically broken. And now we're going to go out there and try to flex the nuts with the Chinese, for Christ's sake? I mean, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And did that idiot say cream of some young whore? Is that what that idiot said? <laughs> Is that what that idiot said? Cream of some young whore? <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and take a call here. 646-652-4869. Uh, let, me, let me get through this other subject matter really quick, uh, since we've already given the rebuttal to the Ch communist government of China. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Senegal's uh, president, Abu Dhabi Wade. For all you folks that don't know Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi Wade, he's the president of Senegal, uh, Senegal Africa. Uh, anyway, in Senegal, Africa, uh, they attempted, through the direction of Abu Dhabi Wade, to alter the Constitution so that Abu Dhabi Wade could be the president for life. You know, and of course. The individuals in Senegal said, hell no, and they rose up, baby. You know what I'm saying? They rose up, and they decided that, you know, we're not going to sit here and allow this stupid scumbag to pull the wools over our eyes. And for you folks that don't know, uh, you know, where Senegal is, it's actually uh, north, of the, uh, no, north of Guinea. So for all you folks that know where Guinea is, uh, it's north of that. But let me tell you right now, it's good to see the people rise up when they see totalitarian bureaucracy attempt to with, withhold from them freedom. You understand? I'm all about anybody who's promoting freedom out there. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it, all right? So uh, for the folks out there in Senegal, that's what I'm talking about. As a matter of fact, because this, uh, this uh, you know, Abu Dhabi Wade decided to do this, he decided to take it back. He's like, I'm just kidding. I was only kidding. So anyway, he didn't fulfill it. He didn't go through with it. But uh, let me tell you, there, there has been some destabilization. If you look on the YouTube, you'll be able to see some of the riots on YouTube, for Christ's sake. I mean, they're no joke. And this is why the government basically just stepped down. They're like, no, we're not... Uh, we're kidding. We're not going to go ahead and take away uh, political freedoms from you. We're, we're kidding. We're only kidding. We're just kidding, man. Well, yeah, you better be kidding, man. You almost got your goddamn uh, bureaucracy toppled from underneath you there in Senegal there, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo! Now, anyway, folks, I want to hear from you. 646-652-4869 is the number to call. Uh, what do you think about the uh, destabilization in Senegal? It's just yet another area out there in Africa that's becoming destabled. Uh, we've talked about the Ivory Coast. We've talked about Nigeria. Uh, we've talked about New Guinea. We've talked about all these uh, areas that are coming under its own strife of destabilization. And I want to hear from you. 646-652-4869 is the number to call. Let's take it. Uh, 707, what's up? You're on the horn. Uh, hello? Yeah, what's up? Uh, first off, I'd just like to say uh, you're hilarious, and um, I, I love how outspoken you are. I love your fucking spirit, man. And um, uh, I just, I'm, I'm sorry I'm going to go a little off topic, but I, I'd like to discuss this topic with you, too. Um, this is just to all the little jack-offs in the chat that think they're they're trolling and they're funny. They're really not. I mean, they're really some of the biggest new fags I've ever seen. They make me sick to my stomach, too. So, I mean, um, I mean, what, what, why, why can't they come up with something funny for Christ's sake? I mean, are, are, I know, uh, you, as, are you an old, are you an old fag, fag man? Like, are you an old fag? Uh, no, I, I'm not an old fag. I don't really consider myself anything. I'm not really even a B-tart. I mean, I've been on there before for a few years, but I don't really go on that much. But I mean, I uh, well, just, just, just by observing, just by observing, aren't these kids getting more and more stupid? Aren't they getting? Yeah, more they and are. More I mean, dumb? they're saying rule one and two, and I haven't, I haven't mentioned, you know. And they're just calling you like a fag and all this bullshit, and they don't know what they're like. They don't fucking know what they're doing. I mean, what the hell? Like I mean, saying, you know, I, I wish that the old fags. The, I hope the old fags out there realize. 
that everything that I have been saying, everything that I've been saying is coming to pass out here. These kids are getting more and more stupid, and it 